The U.S. Central Command announced shortly before dawn on Monday that the Houthis targeted the destroyer, USS Laboon, with an anti-ship missile in the Red Sea, apparently in response to the raids launched by Washington and London on their positions in Yemen. The Central Command said via the X platform that an American fighter shot down the cruise missile launched from an area controlled by the Houthis on the American destroyer in the coast of Hodeida province in western Yemen. It added that the Houthi attack in the southern Red Sea did not result in damage or injuries. Al Jazeera's Washington correspondent Abdel Fattah Fayyad described the targeting of the American battleship as a remarkable development because it means that the conflict is expanding in the Red Sea, the Arabian Sea and Bab al-Mandeb. Fayyad said that what happened indicates that the Houthis are carrying out their threats to target hostile forces on land and at sea, which was stated in the group's statement after the U.S.-British bombing of several areas in Yemen. Under the pretext of responding to the Houthis, targeting of commercial ships in the Red Sea and Bab al-Mandeb, the United States and Britain carried out raids on dozens of targets in Yemen last Friday, as part of the new coalition announced recently. The next day, the U.S. military single-handedly bombed positions in Sana'a and Hodeida, and the Houthis promised a strong response to these strikes. The Houthi group spoke of a new bombing targeting sites in Yemen on Sunday, but Washington and London denied this. Local sources in Hodeida said that the city witnessed a heavy flight of American fighters, while others targeted Houthi positions in the province on Saturday. The coordinator of strategic communications at the U.S. National Security Council, John Kirby, said that his country does not seek conflict with the Houthis. For his part, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron expressed his country's readiness to launch more strikes on Houthi targets in Yemen, if commercial and military ships continue to be attacked in the Red Sea. In contrast, the American magazine Newsweek quoted the Iranian delegate to the United Nations as saying that, any country participating in the military aggression against Yemen may endanger itself.